Hey guys, Crace here, bringing you back another Clash of Clans Clan War recap video. Today, we faced the infamous ADDP. They are a feeder of the clan DDP, or DDP, which is a very famous clan in Clash of Clans. If you don't know who they are, that's a bit surprising. And we suffered our first defeat in these videos. We have been defeated before, but this is the first defeat that we have suffered in one of these videos. So, I'm first off going to show you my first attack against number 31 here. I went with another Go Wee Wee style raid, and as you guys can see, I got two stars, which is always very nice indeed. So I looked at this base, and I decided to attack from the top part of it, because, I mean, I like attacking from the top. It's just easier to raid that way. I had to throw down a few wall breakers to get through that second wall, because that level 11 cannon would shoot down the wall breakers every time. But as you guys can see, I eventually do break through that wall. And he tried to actually trap me with a Go Wee Wee trap. Watch. So as you guys can see, I pl placed that second golem, and he goes over to that Tesla in the top corner, which was a bit surprising. I was a bit nervous, but those wall breakers broke through that first set of walls, which is exactly what you want to happen. And I threw down my lightning spell, and it got most of the clan castle troops. Only, I think, a wizard left, but it was eventually taken care of. I threw down my four witches. They went inside, and their skeletons cleared out one of the giant bombs. I threw down that rage bell right there. One giant bomb down, but I didn't see that second giant bomb, which eventually would take out my witches, and I was a bit nervous here. I threw down some wall breakers in a second here, and as you guys can see, they do break through the middle. So I have an open pathway. I throw down my king. I throw down my queen, and a perfectly placed rage bell here. Gets my queen, gets my king right on the edge. And it's going to be a good one because as you guys can see, they run rampant through the base. They get to that town hall. And once those heroes lock onto that town hall in a rage spell, it is about done. So we take on that. And as you guys can see, they're just going to run around the base for a couple, uh, 43 more seconds. But this, this was a very unfair matchup. They had eight more town hall tens than us. So it was a very easy match for them to win. And I mean, they did. They took full advantage of their eight more town hall tens and they Basically two stars about everyone. Every single one of our Tunnel Nines, I think we're two or three stars each and every time. But as you can see here, it the time runs out. I get a two star, 63%, a pretty good rate. So as we move into our next raid, it is won by my friend Canyon5. And this was the most hero attack for a while. And he throws down his two golems there, throws down some wall breakers, but they do actually get springboard. He throws down some more wall breakers and they do break through the wall. Lose out the clan castle troops, but he waits to throw that lightning spell down, and that might have been a bit of a mistake because those clan castle troops do take out his um, golems very quickly. But I mean, this was a fantastic raid. I mean, that didn't seem to affect him at all. He threw down those pekkas, perfect placement, perfect placement of the king and the queen. The jump spell, perfectly placed. Great time free spell. He's inside just like that. His queen's roaming around, destroying that archer tower, I believe. And just one more jump, and they're into the town hall. The Pekka's breakthrough throws down a rage bell. They're in the town hall compartment. Are they going to get the one star? Are they going to get the two star? Let's see. The Pekka's are in. They've locked onto the town hall. The town hall's down. It's a one star for sure. He's at 44%. Now looking to get the 50. He's got 45. He's got 47. And this is where it comes in clutch. His king is at 47%. Wizard destroys one more army camp. He's at 49. All he needs is one more. The, t the Inferno locks on, and there we go, 50%. I mean, he does have a few more archers over here to the right. He would have gotten the 50%. Either way, he knows he got it. Just decides to let it go. Two-star for Canyon 5. Great raid by the man. I mean, great. Just everything went well. Moving on to our next raid. I thought, you, I thought I'd show you a raid of ADDP. They are attacking Krill of my clan, and this was a such a well-executed raid. I had to feature it. It was... A two-star on, I think, our number four, who actually has left the clan since. He throws down that lightning spell, which doesn't actually take out any of the clan castle troops. was a bit surprising, actually. But he lures him over to the side here, which is very smart. Takes care of him very easily. And watch this little tactic he has. He throws down an archer, but he puts a wizard out over to the side in a second. Yeah, and the wizards are not targeting that wizard. So it's just free to rain on attack, but it gets taken out there. But he'll do it again, and they just don't see it, and it's just done like that. So, here we go. One minute to go when he hasn't even placed out his golems. There come the golems. He's gotten three very wide placed golems, and that's exactly how you want to do it. Two wall breakers down in each and every corner. The compartments are broken, except for the middle one. 
and he's inside just like that. So he throws down his witches, he throws down his wizards, expecting to clear out those outside buildings. Throws down a few more wall breakers, throws down his clan castle with some wizards and archers inside. Gets a rage spell down, perfectly placed. He throws down his king, his queen is yet to show up, and there come some more wizards coming down. And as you guys can see, this is more of a go Eevee style. No peck is involved in this one. But he throws down another rage, a free spell, two perfectly timed free spells, allows his king to get in there quickly, throws down the queen, the king's inside, the queen as well, they're all in the rage spell, the town hall is taking damage, will it go down? There it goes, 47%, 48%, will he get the 50%, 48 and 49 and he does get 50% on Krill, a great raid, I cannot take that away from him, it was a big 2 star for ADDP and it kind of hurt his big time. So, moving on to the most heroic attack that was by Dennis. This was a very good raid indeed. A Southern Teaser style base. And he throws down a few archers just to clear out some of the buildings. But they do get shot down pretty easily. So he realizes that he cannot clear out any of the buildings. So he throws down his golems in a second here. Two level 5s I believe. There they go. Two level 5 golems. And he follows them up with some wizards attacking around the edges. Throws down some wall breakers. As you guys can see there, they run through, but the giant bombs do take him out. But he, at least he saw those giant bombs. Wall breakers, are they going to set off that giant bomb? There's one to the right, as you guys can see, a little four space, and it gets taken out there. Doesn't actually take out many troops, just some of the skeletons, which is great. Moving on to this raid, throws down a rage spell, a perfectly placed rage spell. The golems inside, taking damage from that expo. Air bombs are down. Free spell placed against that inferno. He throws out another free spell. Are they going to get inside? What's going to happen? He throws down his lightning strike to get rid of those clan castle troops. They're inside the base. The Barb King's going. Will he get to the town hall? The Archer Queen's in. Barb King's locked down. It's 45%. Gets the one star. 48, 49. Will he get the two star? Yes, he does. 53%. Let's his troops run around for a bit more. But as you can see, there, isn't, there wasn't really any chance of getting a three star because there wasn't any golems left to take the damage. But a nice raid by Dennis. 64%. Great raid for the clan, even though it didn't result in much. But, as you guys can see here, the war map looked pretty one-sided. They one start all our town halls. They got more wins than us. They beat us in every com every compartment, as you guys can see. I mean, th we only had three three-stars. They had six. Twenty-two stars, they had twenty-two. Four one-stars, they had seven. And, I mean, we tried our hardest, but we didn't get the win. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. That's going to be all for me today. Clash of Clans video, or Clash of Clans Let's Play out tomorrow. I'm out, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.